Okay, hello everybody. Uh, just um, on the basis of some questions that I got through the phonetics uh, practice exercise session this morning, um, got the message that basically uh, people would like some more guidance on how to um, insert phonetic transcriptions into their homeworks. Uh, and I also realized um, that this is probably gonna be a, an important technical issue when I send out my the midterm for the exam to you all. Um, which will be done on next Monday, a week from today. Uh, I don't want you to get kind of tripped up on doing technical things when you're supposed to be focused on answering questions uh, in the exam itself. So uh, to try to help you out with that, I'm gonna give you some technical help in this um, video. Uh, it won't be super long. I'm just gonna demonstrate how to create phonetic transcriptions on a computer using the IPA symbols that we've learned in class. Um, yeah, so uh, with no further ado, I've got the phonetics homework up here. Um, it's due in a couple of days on Wednesday. You already probably know that. Uh, but if you would like to put um, phonetic symbols in it, uh, I'm going to give you a little demo here. Um, this is not a question on the homework, but it'll be something we can talk about for this little video. Let's say we wanted to transcribe the word phonetics itself. Um, so. I've just got uh, a couple of brackets here. Just try to remember to put all your transcriptions in brackets. And what you can do is follow uh, the link I posted in this links page. Um, you can either just click on the links page like this. It's down at the bottom here, or you can open it up in a new tab. And this is the link itself that I want you to work with because um, I think it's pretty simple. So it gives you an interface that looks like this. Um, yeah. and. Let's see, actually, I haven't clicked on the more. Okay, that's a lot of fun stuff. Uh, anyways, uh, it's simple the way this works because for the most part, you can just type in stuff like phonetics and you could copy and paste that, right? Um, so I'm just hitting like cop, uh, Command C on my um, Macintosh here to copy that. And I could, you know, just copy and paste that with Command V uh, to make that explicit. You know, I could highlight this and say copy. And then over here, I just say paste, and then boom, there we go. We got that word, but we want it in phonetic transcription, right? So how do we transcribe phonetics? Um, so there's all these symbols here. I'll make this a little bit bigger, I think, um, so that maybe you can see that better on the video. Uh, and it doesn't have any of the um, just regular um, alphabetic symbols that we have in the English alphabet. Uh, it just has all the special ones that you get in the IPA. So, um, Right, so we have F, that's just a regular phonetic symbol. And if we wanna put the schwa right after it, then we just have to click on the schwa, no biggie, um, then N and then the epsilon. Uh, I'll put this in here with a T, even though um, another valid option here is the flap. Um, so I'll just put a T and then a cap I and then a KS like that. Uh, okay, so that's our basic transcription of phonetics. I can put that in here. And then this is the question that kind of came up in the class today. Uh, I didn't really have time to answer it at the moment. But um, how do you put that stress marker um, on the stress syllable of phonetics, which is the second syllable, so phonetics. With more, emphasis, more emphasis on the second syllable, phonetics. Uh, so uh, there's a little marker here. Um, it means sl something slightly different in the official version of the IPA, but we're gonna use it for stress, right? So I can just click on that guy, and now I've got stress over that um, eh in the second syllable of phonetics. Um, yeah, so, and then again, just copy and paste over here, and you should be able to put that into your phonetics homework. It pastes over. A, carriage return to oh well you can just eliminate that if you want to um, the other thing I wanted to mention is what happens if we have um, a syllabic consonant so let's say uh, you're dealing with the word creature something like that uh, so let's transcribe creature over here because that final er is uh, syllabic er uh, and we the first three sounds there are just the regular symbols we have actually the first four if you include that as part of the um, um, the part of the affricate, which you should. So there's actually a symbol in here. I'll point this out. There's a symbol in here for ch with like a little, what we call a tie bar over that. It's fine if you want to use that. Um, the tie bar just means those two sounds kind of go together as one phoneme. Um, you can do it this way as well, just the T and then an S. Uh, and never mind that. And then uh, the R 
And if you want to put the little slabic symbol underneath it, it's right here. And you click on that and you see the slabic thing point, uh, slabic diacritic uh, appear at the bottom of um, the transcription. And you can add a stress mark to the first syllable here by clicking on that button right after the E. And now I've got creature. And I can just put this over here in my transcription, get rid of that carriage return, and I'm done. Yeah, so that's how you do it. It's just copy and paste, right? Uh, just in case that wasn't clear, I'll do it a third time. Copy and then paste, and you're done with that. So uh, yeah, I shouldn't really have any excuses because this works in any um, platform or interface that I know of. Uh, I'm using it on a Mac. I also have uh, a font that I've used uh, for a long time um, that I installed on my Macintosh. Uh, and I've got another video about that, which I have created for my 341 class. Uh, I think it's a little more complicated, but I'll link that video um, at the bottom of this YouTube video as well. Uh, and I'll provide this link too, uh, in case you wanna play around with it. Um, but you can follow that other video in case you would like to install that font too. There's a variety of different ways to do this. I just think this is the simplest. And I want to keep this simple for you guys because I want you to be able to focus more on the uh, questions you need to answer rather than the technical details of trying to get this to work on your computer um, for your exam. You're under enough pressure as it is already. Uh, yeah, so that's all I'm gonna say for this. Um, I'm gonna make a similar one for the morphology trees uh, in case that's unclear because you'll need help with that one as well um, if you're not comfortable with making those uh, in digital form as it is. Uh, okay, this should work. Um, let me know if it doesn't uh, and I'll follow this up again with that other video and a couple emails too. So see you soon.